Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF Europe. In today's training tape, we're going to look at personal foul clipping. So we'll have a look at a few plays where clipping may or may not be called or, or, or should or shouldn't be called. But before we do that, let's have a look at what the rule book and the MOFO say. In the rule book, we start with 251 uh, defining clipping. Clipping is a block against an opponent in which the force of the initial contact is from behind and at or below the waist. B. The position of the blocker's head or feet does not necessarily indicate the point of the initial contact. In Rule 915, uh, it says there shall be no clipping, and then uh, there, are, there are exceptions. 1. Often to players who are on the line of scrimmage at the snap within the free blocking zone legally may clip in the free blocking zone subject to the following restrictions. So there are restrictions to the exceptions. A. A player in the free, free blocking zone may not block an opponent with the force of the initial contact from behind and at or below the knees. So basically you can clip if you're an offensive player on the line of scrimmage uh, in the free blocking zone as long as you contact the opponent between uh, the waist and the knees. So in the thigh area is where you can legally clip. In the MOFO, we go to 334 that says to call clipping, you need to see two things. One, the blocker's last stride before the contact. So you are fairly certain you know which direction he came from. And two, you need to have seen the opponent he hit before the block so that you know whether the opponent turned his back or not. So basically, you must see the point of initial contact. Remember that contact to the side is legal. See the entire act. Now, contact to the side uh, may be legal um, in the content in the context of clipping it could be uh, an illegal low block uh, but that's a whole different rule and a whole different training tape so that was the book now let's have a look at some game film in this first play we're going to have a look at the center who's coming out and initiating contact with the middle linebacker there and this is clearly from behind it's below the waist, probably even below the knee. So even in the tackle box, this would have been a uh, personal foul for clipping. So well done by the umpire to move around and spot this and get the flag down. Here we're going to look at the near guard, A69. He's going to come out here now. He's certainly outside of the of the tackle box, uh, the free blocking zone. So here he is. Uh, whether this is a low block or a clipping, uh, enforcement-wise, it doesn't make any difference. Here it does look like he's coming from behind, but it also looks like he's actually uh, hitting above the waist. So had this been in the free blocking zone, this would have been a legal block. But here, outside, obviously, uh, this is low and it's a dangerous block. And uh, uh, either the umpire or maybe even the deep wing would be able to, to pick this up. Back judge might have a, have a say. Uh, center judge, referee, whoever is on this side could have a look at this. Uh, bottom line is this is, a, uh, this is a nasty block that we need to catch. Play three, we're looking at the near tackle who's going to engage a linebacker. So he's coming up there and then he's going to go. He probably tried to get in front. That really didn't work. Uh, and again, even if this had been a three o'clock block, it would have been uh, illegal. It would have been a foul. But here it certainly uh, does look like uh, he gets him from behind. And this would... Uh, this would be a, an umpire call, could also be a back judge call, could also be a backside wing 
cleanup call bottom line is that we need to call this but, but let's have a look at this play also from the end zone from this angle we're looking at the tackle on the left side of the screen and he's going to engage as you can see b43 and here it's also fairly obvious that this block is actually from behind and this is not a, a a side block which in this case would also be illegal but here it is a a clipping on this play initially we're looking at the near tackle and he's going to do this right there and uh, it, it certainly looks from from here if we freeze it right here it looks like the, the contact is from behind and I think this is low enough uh, that it is uh, below the waist making it a, uh, a clipping foul and uh, this would in uh, this is a seven-man crew this would probably fall on the backside wing to call this uh, and on a side note Let's say these blocks, so there's this one here, and then there's the other one closer to the quarterback. Let's say they're both from the side. Now, whether or not these are illegal peelback blocks would uh, depend on whether or not the, the quarterback ever leaves the pocket. So we're in position five right now, and then he moves there. Is this outside of the pocket? I'm not sure that it is. And now he's still inside the pocket. So even with this, or we would need the end zone shot or the referee's uh, angle to see if he actually left the uh, the tackle box. But if he didn't, then these are actually legal low blocks, even though they are towards Team A's uh, end line and they are uh, three o'clock blocks. But certainly the first one uh, we would want called for a clipping. Here we're looking at the receiver at the top of the screen, and right away, you know, this is the uh, this is the break in the hand. This is where the deep wing really needs to keep an eye on him because what is he going to do? Typically, they will do a crackback block. Uh, is what we're looking for, but here, that certainly is a, a very poor attempt of uh, getting in front of the cornerback to to block him. So, an excellent job done by this deep wing to uh, stick with his key, stick with his receiver, and catch this personal foul clipping. This last play, we're looking at the right tackle, and this is actually a situation where it looks really bad, uh, but I believe that this is a legal block. This is not a foul because uh, he is in the free blocking zone and the force of the contact uh, happens at the thigh level and if we remember the uh, the rule says that you can actually go uh, go low behind an opponent uh, in the free blocking zone if you make sure that you do it above the knees which I think he does here so this would be an example of a, uh, a nasty but legal block then that was the training tape, and I hope you found something you can use on the field.